Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackalit Educational Channel. So this video we are going to discuss and know what are the details about the mains paper for the ARS exam and what does that mean when you are getting the result as qualified written on that. So whether it is telling that you are qualified for mains or whether it is telling that you are only qualified for ARS net. So everything will know here. The main syllabus will know. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So first we should know what is the minimum marks required for qualifying the net ARS net that is for the year 2021 this one. So here it was already given that for unreserved and EWS category, if you are scoring 50%, that is 75 marks then you will be called as the ARS net qualified similarly for the OBC category it is 45 percent that is 67.5 marks and for SCST PWBD the minimum qualifying marks is 40 percent or that is 60 marks so this was already told before the examination which was given in the prospectus but now we will know what does that qualified signal means so here I have taken a result from one of the candidates for your reference. So here you should know that here it is mentioned that result is qualified. But this is not telling that you are qualified for net or you are only qualifying the prelims exam and you are qualifying for the mains exam which is going to happen. So now we will know that this candidate is from the OBC category and here how much mark he or she has scored mark score is 80.33 that is 53.56 percentage of the total marks so what does that mean so here it has already written that cutoff marks for the category of obc is 45 percent which we have already discussed in the previous slide so according to that this person this candidate is way above the qualifying marks so he or she has qualified for the net paper that is ARS net for this year and now what he or she can do she can apply for the assistant professor or lectureship post whenever in any agriculture institute or agriculture university the post are vacant so this is the ticket to apply for the agriculture assistant professor or agriculture lecturer in the agriculture university specifically so this means that but what is about the mains exam so kya ye mains qualify karne ka ye signal hai so kya ye result bata raha hai ki ye mains appear kar sakte hain ya nahi so for that we have to check the cutoff marks for this year so this I have brought the cutoff marks from the list which was published in the ARS website now we will know what is the cutoff marks so the candidate was from OBC category and we are talking about the environmental science paper specifically so here in the OBC category let us see what is the qualifying mark 85 marks so if the candidate has secured 85 marks then he or she will be called as he has qualified for the mains exam that means he has qualified the preliminary examination but this person this candidate was securing 80.33 mark so unfortunate bad luck so here he or she is not going to appear for the mains exam this qualified means he or she has only qualified the ARS net exam not the prelim stage for the agriculture research service so I hope this is clear for you similarly you can go for your subject and you can see whether you have qualified for the mains exam or not so now we will also see what are the category cutoff marks for all other categories for here example unreserved category 91 should be the marks secured by the candidate to appear for the mains exam for EWS why there is no marks so here also for SC also there is no marks that is the qualifying marks for the mains exam but for ST candidates the qualifying marks is 67.33 so why these two vacancies are there in the cutoff marks so that also I will give you the answer from the previously published notification yes we are talking about environmental science as I have said already so here what happens is according to the previously given notification in environmental science there were total four seats for the agricultural research service and here SC category was having zero post and EWS was also having zero vacancy so here it was only for unreserved OBC and ST that's why these two categories are not having any cutoff marks because there are no seats in that category 
सो आई होप इट इज क्लियर एस सी एंड ई डब्ल्यू एस कैटेगरी के लिए कोई भी यहाँ पे पोस्ट नहीं है एनवायरमेंटल साइंस पेपर के लिए दैट्स वाई हियर इन ई डब्ल्यू एस एंड एस सी देर इज नो कट ऑफ फॉर द मेन्स एग्जाम सो दिस कैंडिडेट्स वोट बी एबल टू अपियर फॉर द ए आर एस मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन बट ओनली क्वालिफाइड इफ इट इज रिटर्न दैट मीन्स यू हैव क्वालिफाइड द नेट एग्जाम एंड यू विल बी एलिजिबल फॉर द पोस्ट ऑफ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर और लेक्चरर इन द एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी और इंस्टीट्यूट now we will talk about the mains exam that is very very important those who have qualified for the mains exam for them i will tell you so ye kuch important points hai jo ki maine yahan pe aapke liye laya hai so these things are very important to note down first is the question paper for ars 2020 and mains examination can be answered either in english or hindi medium so this is the very good facility you can answer in english or hindi medium but here it is written that answers or the scripts attempted in a medium other than the opted one will not be evaluated so what does it tell ye bol raha hai ki while applying for the position of ars examination this year if you have applied in the english category and you are writing in the hindi script in the mains exam then you will be disqualified your answer paper will not be evaluated so this thing you should keep in mind what was the language given in your application process in that language only you have to answer similarly if a candidate's handwriting is not easily legible a deduction will be made that means aapko apna handwriting ko bhi normal rakhna hai legible rakhna hai itna ganda nahi hona chahiye next is marks will not be allotted for mere superficial knowledge so you cannot write anything any absurd thing so that will not be allotted the marks will be not allotted so the credit will be given for orderly effective and exact expression of the words in the answer so there will be the subjective paper so it should be in orderly manner effective manner without any superficial knowledge and exact expression you should express in the answer for the subjective question now this is the main part which i'm going to tell you they are telling the standard of both the papers that means crs 2020 and preliminary which is already gone and ars mains exam will be that of your masters degree of an indian university that means aapke masters mein jo bhi aapko padhaya gaya hai in your masters that will be the standard of the ars mains examination so no need to worry much about but it will be the category or standard for the masters degree of your respective paper now some more important points and tips from the mains examination so this is not the tip this is actually they have given in the prospectus so here they are writing that they have mentioned ars mains examination paper will have only one paper that will be of total 240 marks in the respective disciplines in your respective subject to be attempted in 3 hours duration so time aapko 3 hours milega and total marks is 240 and the paper shall be divided into three parts that means a part a part b part c in which part a will consist of 40 questions so 40 questions will come in part a which each will be having two marks and in this part answer required will be of very short not exceeding 10 words at the most so you should not down here they are telling the words should not exceed 10 words for the part a category you should be specific they should not exceed 10 words at the most so part b kya hona hai part b will be having 20 questions of 5 marks each so part b mein 20 questions milenge 5 marks each requiring one or two paragraphs or graphical explanation so here they are telling you can write one or two paragraphs or in the graphical explanation you can give for the part b coming to the part c so part c will have six essay type or descriptive type questions so this is the big boss part c will be having essay type or description type questions each will be carrying 10 marks that means six essay type 60 marks total and may have two or more parts so you can have you can divide it into two or more parts and answers are required to be written in the space provided below the question so that will be the question paper along with the answer paper for example the question will be given and there will be space given so you have to write in that space only it will not be given any extra sheet so it is meant sir no extra sheets will be provided and all the questions will be compulsory in all these three sections that is a part a part b and part c now how will be the qualification or minimum qualifying marks so the candidates who obtain minimum qualifying marks in the mains exam 
as may be decided by the board. So this will be decided by the board that what will be the minimum qualifying marks for the Viva Vos exam. So Viva Vos ke liye, aapka interview ke liye kitna hona chahiye qualifying marks that will be de decided by the board and it will be in the ratio of 1 is to 5 category wise. So what does this mean? This means if in one category, suppose it is SC category, there are 10 seats. So they will call 50 students. That means 1 is to 5. So 1 is to 5 means 50 students they will call and from them 10 students will be selected. That is the example. And last but not the least, I will tell you about the syllabus for the mains exam. That is very, very important. So this is the most important part that is the note given in the prospectus that is they are telling that syllabus first ARS 2021 preliminary exam as well as ARS 2021 mains is available on the ASRB's website. So what is the website? Note it down www.asrb.org.in. So yahan pe aapko milega aapka syllabus according to your paper for the mains examination as you have already got for the prelims exam. So this is very important. Go and hit the website. If you haven't gone through the syllabus, go through that, read properly, try to write down how to write, how to maintain the sentence, how to maintain the paragraph and prepare well for the exam. So my best wishes are always with you. Good luck. And if so, see you guys in our next video. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe the channel for further updates. See you guys in our next video. Till then, keep smiling and believe in yourself.